I see you've met our friend, Jogu. Akinyi! What the hell? Couldn't you have picked a better meeting place? Nah, I had to make sure you weren't followed. I have been careful. Mm, you can never be too careful with someone like Max. And there's this. Hmm? The best view in all of Oloru Valley. Wow. Yeah. This is what it's all about, Mo. What are those? Oh, those, those are stallings. The dance they're doing is called a murmuration. I mean, it's always fascinated me how they move like that. They never bump into each other, and they don't have a single leader. It's a miracle of coordination. Amazing. Anyway, that's enough sightseeing for one morning. I'm sure you're very, very hungry. Come, let's go. Follow me. Welcome to the home of the Sankofa Collective. Wow. What do you do here? We're the biggest developers cooperative in Wahenga land. Many of us work remotely across the world. At Sankofa Hall, this is our base. We host events, talks, hackathons. And once in a while, we handle sensitive cases like yours. This is delicious, Akinyi. Thank you. I can't remember the last time I ate like this in Central City. It's my pleasure. <clears throat> I look forward to properly introducing you to the gang. You know, it's not every day that we get to meet a real-life whistleblower, right? You know, I also used to live in the city. Really? I even worked as a contractor for Max Industries. <laughs> but that was well before I saw the light and got out. Serving the Sankofas has been much more rewarding. I mean, now I'm building things that actually help people, like the Wahenga Dao. Wait, what's a Dao? It stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. And it's a way for all of us to coordinate and decide on our future without having to delegate power to a central authority. By using blockchain, all our votes will be transparent and our finances can be held collectively. We'll be able to fly like the sterlings we saw this morning. Millions of individuals working together in a way that's both inclusive and highly adaptable. Yes, we're all independent and capable as individuals, but as a team, oh, we're unstoppable. Um, pardon my skepticism, but it's not like people haven't been trying to work together since the beginning of time. And what on earth is this blockchain on which your entire plan hinges? Especially, Sana Sana, how do we use it to stop Max? <laughs> it's your lucky day, Mo. This just happens to be the subject of today's talk. All right, all right, everybody, listen up, listen up. May I have your attention, please? All right, how's everyone feeling today? Are we pumped? Are we psyched? Awesome. Now listen, it's time for today's talk. Akini, please join me on stage. Akini is going to be talking to us about blockchain and why it matters to us at Sankofa. All right? All right, let's make some noise for Akini. Akini, the stage is yours. Asante, Hassan. Hey, everyone. Firstly, please join me in welcoming our special guest to the Sankofa Hall, Mora. Mora is an unsung hero in our struggle for transparency and accountability in this country. 
As I speak to you right now, she's risking her safety to expose the truth about how Max is abusing his influence over the Central Land Registry. He plans to evict our people from the Olorur Valley to make room for oil drilling. This is not the first time in our history that we've seen such abuse of power. And to tell you the truth, it's not going to be the last. Not unless we can use blockchain technology to decentralize governance in this country. Hey, Captain, are you sure this is where she's hiding? I'm positive. The boss is never wrong. All right, Captain. We are ready for your order. Aye, officers! Station yourselves at the exits, then send some smokers through the balcony. A blockchain is just a ledger or a record of transactions that's stored in blocks of data and linked in a chain. The transactions recorded in a blockchain can't be edited or deleted, so they're protected from bad actors. What makes it special is its decentralization. Decentralization? What's decentralization? Great question. To make it even more secure, copies of the blockchain are stored in computers called nodes all over the world. So even if you could hack one transaction, all the nodes would detect the mismatch and reject the false information. In the same way that the internet was a revolution in communication, blockchain is a revolution in coordination. For example, the digital currency, Bitcoin, it is the most famous application of blockchain technology. Bitcoin allows its users to send and receive money from anywhere in the world, peer-to-peer, -peer, because it's decentralized. That means it's outside the control of any central authority or bureaucracy. It's managed by people just like us who believe that no government, no bank, should be able to block us from using our own money. But this, this is only the beginning. Imagine a future where we can completely trust the outcome of our elections. Where we no longer have to fear that our home will be grabbed by crooks like Max, with power and privileged access to government registries. Where is Mora? Who? There's no one here by that name. Ah, why are you harassing us? I see you think you're clever, eh? Fine. We'll lock you and your friends up until someone starts talking. Niach! Let me go! You have no right to be here! Nyamaza, where, where? Nyamaza! Nyamaza! Akinyi! <coughs> Hassan! <coughs> oh no! What have I done? <coughs> 